Another history lesson. Less than 47 years ago, but more than 45, I received my first letter at my dorm on Commonwealth Avenue in Boston. <clears throat> it was from my friend Chet, childhood friend, who was going, who sent it from his dorm in, from New Haven, Connecticut. And it con contained one piece of paper and nothing else. So I drew my first line and I mailed it back to him. Four days, five days delivery time. During my entire college career, my first marriage, and a couple of career changes, Chet and I played connect the dots on this worn out sheet of paper mailed back and forth. The internet ruined that game, <laughs> but it did not ruin our intent. So what the heck is she talking about? Mm. <clears throat> Transparency Matters, a political action committee, uh, is what I'm here to introduce. Connections, of course, specifically in answer to the question, who does the government work for? Transparency Matters was created to raise the idea that community members as ratepayers are entitled to clear and unambiguous answers to their questions pertaining to whether the city is using our resources effectively, efficiently, economically, and equitably. Transparency across all wards, all streets, all census tracts, all zoning categories. We expect the city, through the processes that U.S. City Council enable, will bring responsive information to the community how decisions are made, what decisions are made, what decisions are not made, and explanations that are clear and transparent. Core members, the state requires only one officer, the treasurer, and that would be me because I got to my computer faster. The other core members are Pat Fowler, who was unable to be here tonight, Lynn Maloney, Susan Mays, Diane Schuler, and myself. Why? The idea of transparency is what we formed around. What we are finding is that we support issues through education, agitation, and organizing. We develop programs to maintain and build relationships with elected and appointed officials. We got Mr. Glasscock on our calendar already. We engage with stakeholder groups to assist on issue-driven campaigns and possibly even recruit Transparency Matters approved candidates. Never underestimate the power of being in someone's kitchen, listening to their concerns, to their circumstances, and to see what they see outside of their back or front windows. Our first event of community outreach will be held on Saturday, July 13th at Drink Craft, uh, 300 North 10th Street, starting at 3 p.m. And apologies to all the other organizations that are meeting that day as well. All are invited. There will be short presentations for the purpose of sharing information, establishing who's who, and we aim to give each presenter a list of interested people. And as we said, all are invited. This is the legal stuff. We were established on January 29th. Our contact is Transparency Matters 65203 at Gmail. We will be having um, a media presence. These are partners and some issues. Mostly I wanted you to see the partners, some of the issues. While the list seems long, what we know is that by connecting the dots, many issues overlap. They nudge up against each other, and where there is more, we can work together. Why now, you might ask. Charter changes have been discussed. By the way, I have some names of people that you might know and people you might not know who are interested in charter change. Time for a new city manager and redistricting. These are all issues that loom large, whether we're talking about homelessness, whether we're talking about uh, race issues, whether we're talking about school issues. These are all going to matter. Chet and I don't play the game in, anymore, but we're still friends. Here in Columbia, we have the opportunity to promote social equity, responsive governance, access to information and decision making, not just for those in the know, but for everyone who lives in our city. 
We expect our elected and appointed leaders to be the models. Thank you. Thank you very much.